So I left Drew here all by himself today, and I did leave him a camera. Not only that, I don't even have my regular camera, so we're, we're going to see how this all shakes out today. Good morning, everybody. This is Drew from Atlantis Water Gardens, and today we are in Morristown, New Jersey. We are installing our front door falls, paver patio, retaining wall. This is going to be perfect for a table, a couple of chairs. So it's not too far away from the house, probably 50 feet from a nice deck in the back. So we're going to be installing this front front door falls, which is consisted of the Aquascape 45 Basin, Aquasurge 2000 pump. We use an inch and a half plumbing. We're gonna recirculate up through Aquascape's new 12 inch spillway through a series of two cascading falls, starting at the top and working its way down into the basin. We're gonna create a beautiful, smaller waterfall for this space. It's gonna be nestled right into the curve here, right into the existing landscape to take advantage of that slope. All this dirt is gonna be kind of fanned out, graded out, so it looks nice and not mounded up like a waterfall, which typically you can see. But here, me and Brennan are gonna be hard at work. Full sun, beautiful day. So we'll check you later. I just wanted to show you guys what these backyard waterfall kits come with. So instead of the factory pre-filters that come on the front of your Aquasurge pump, we removed that and we've added this low suction attachment. This way, if the water gets low inside the basin here, there's plenty of water for this pump to still be sucking and circulating through until you can add more. So this basically sits about a half inch off the bottom of the basin. So it's gonna be able to have continuous suction even with low water in the basin. All right, we're making good progress here. As you can see, we've got our aqua basin laid in. It's level side to side, front to back. Our next step here is gonna be carving a trench to get our piping up and around the edge and up to our spillway. We've also started to excavate our, our ledges uh, where we're gonna create our waterfall. But on those ledges, you're gonna get your two different drops. We'll add some lights in, so as the water is cascading down these falls and into the bottom, it'll be illuminated at nighttime. It's gonna be really cool. Drew and Brennan have the reservoir installed. They're running the plumbing up around the top. That's where the spillway is going. This is gonna be about four feet long almost two feet of elevation. This is considered our front door falls. You can see we're starting to pile up some boulders now. We got some big ones there and... Well, what's next is connect in the plumbing and then put down our liner and start rocking this baby. Awesome, these guys are doing a great job. I got Anthony here and Brennan and we got Drew. So these three are going to build the best small waterfall you've ever seen. We are about to start putting water inside this waterfall. This little set of cascades just is fitting perfectly inside this patio space. It's gonna give the right amount of sound and the visual is gonna be something that just is soothing and relaxing. Once we get it filled up, we're gonna turn this on, show you what we got and see what the homeowner thinks of her brand new water feature. All right, I think that's it. Let's go get Linda, see what she thinks. You ready to see your new waterfall? Yes, I'm ready. Come I've been peeking on. out the window anyway. That's fine, come on, check it out. I've been peeking. This is so amazing to me. It actually looks like I have 
like there's a brook here. This is great. You have the vision with the plants around it and me sitting back here with my little whatever refreshment that I want to have. <laughs> no, that looks really nice. I've always wanted a water feature. I love water. And when we started thinking about redoing the yard and doing the landscaping, I from the beginning I said, where can you put a water feature? You know, I had a landscaper creating the uh, design and I said, where can we put a nice little water feature? And he had it in a different place than we ended up putting it, but so it was something I've always wanted. And so when we got this patio, I was like, okay, this is coming out. This will be really nice down here. Because I wasn't sure how this was going to end up. My yard just kind of went here and then it kind of, if you saw the old pictures of my yard, you need to see that at some point. Okay. How the yard looked before any of this was here. Because it looked pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I started doing this landscape project. So, but when he came up with the idea of putting a patio down here, the water feature just fit in perfectly. So this space here is so inviting with some chairs. She's got a fire pit installed. What fantastic rock work they did to make this little retention wall right next to the patio. You can use that as additional seating. At nighttime, we've got this lit up with several LED lights. So you've got a nice little pop of color. The lights are within the waterfall. So at night, it kind of just makes these little dancing glistening things on our plants so that's really a nice accent once that's turned on having a mixture of larger and smaller rocks some flat rocks some rounder chunky ones all these little pieces fit together so nice to make this little waterfall relax by So hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video and what we were able to show you on how we can install one of these small backyard patio fountains into a relatively small space but still have the feature make a big impact on the overall landscape. The customer was just out here with us. She told us all summer long she had people hanging out here and this was the spot that people gravitated towards. Water has that tendency to just draw you towards it and that's exactly what this feature did. She loves it, her guests loved it. She said her yard was the destination place for hanging out this summer. So I'm glad we, we were able to have a part in this overall project and the customer loves it. Hope you guys loved it too. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that button, join us every week. We've got new videos posting every Friday and we'll see you on the next one, thanks. But yeah, I think we're going to nail it. Hold on. That's a lot of work. What? Got some nice concrete here in the way, so we got to get rid of it. So you're taking out some aggression? Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit, all right. I won't stop you. Oh, are you filming me? For real? <laughs> I should have done my hair. You don't be doing stuff like that to you a You look woman. great, Linda. You know better than that. <laughs> <laughs>